Right, following on from the uh, the extras for the pod, the uh, eyepiece extension and the objective lens extension cover, which helps with the focusing. Um, to complete the setup, I have also got one of these. Now this is during the daylight, uh, if it's a sunny day, because these are actual sort of telescopic sights, it's actually a digital camera. Um, it can overreact to sunlight and you get a bit glary, a little bit glary. And the idea of this is, and basically it's just a little cap that pushes on the end. I can get it out. Just bear with me a second. A little cap that just pushes into the end of the uh, the extension here and it has a small hole in it and what that does on a really sunny glary day it restricts the amount of light that enters the uh, the camera detector unit and cuts down massively on any glare or overexposure of the camera system um, and it has a little bung that fits in it so that no rubbish can fall inside so it makes a complete eye shield and when you're using it so you don't lose it the little bung just fits in that hole at the bottom there and that just pushes in there and to make it completely um, sealed from any rain or dust or anything there's a small o-ring that sits in there as well just prevents any water ingress or dust or anything like that so it makes a really good dust cap too obviously you wouldn't use her at night because at night you want as much um, light collection as you possibly can but during the day because it's a, a sensitive detector um, a lot of these night vision type sites can suffer with that um, where they wash out a little bit because of overexposure to bright sunlight um, so by using something to cut down on the light entering the system you put less of a strain on the sensor and also cut down on the glare and the uh, the washout effect so yeah re another really handy little cheap um, but really useful add-on for the PARD system um, and to be honest with you, once you've got that and all the other bits, you're pretty much set up for any eventuality at all. Uh, once again, got this from the same seller as these two. Um, Anthony R 1973, I think it's called, on eBay. Um, and these are very nice, really nice, nice little thing. You know, a little bit of detail on it with the Pard NV on the front. The O-ring and whatnot. And again... Well made, dead useful, and relatively inexpensive, well cheap actually. Um, but a great little thing, it just makes it that much more useful. It's things like that that just iron out the few little faults that are on the pard. You know, ideally when they were designing the pard, perhaps they could have put an iris um, in the front lens so you can close it up when you're using it in the daytime. But to be honest, this is ideal. Um, it's on a sort of similar sort of principle to what you get with the Photon uh, XTs and RTs where they have a small hole in the lens cap that limits the amount of light they can get into the system. Um, but yeah, really, really good. And it doesn't cut down on the, uh, the image at all. Still crystal clear, really bright, really nice. It just cuts down on any glare. So again, if you've got a PARD, um, and you're looking to just tweak it slightly one of these well worth it and the other thing of course is once it's in place um, completely seals the front lens unit as well so if you've got it stored in your gun cabinet or wherever you keep your rifle you're not going to get dust or rubbish falling on top of the lens so really really handy dead useful and for what they cost um, you know they're so cheap you get the whole caboodle here the whole kit here sort of 25 26 quid just finishes the site off perfectly
Um, there's nothing else really apart from perhaps an add-on IR unit if you thought you needed it. But um, I must admit, um, for air gunning certainly, I can't see any point. Um, the inbuilt IR unit is perfectly adequate for any sort of air gunning ranges, even FAC air gun ranges. Um, you're not going to need an extra IR on that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.